everybody and welcome back to Dimbabwe once again. Now the start of this episode is going to be a little bit different since we've got to celebrate reaching 1000 subscribers. So first of all, massive thank you to everyone and with that the beavers have actually decided to leave a bit of a landmark in the colony to mark this glorious day into the, into the history book. So let's go over a little bit. And here we've got a little heart that's gonna stay stay in this colony just over here. I think in the future we'll probably fill this with water as well and perhaps some, have some trees around and, and maybe some roads so that the beavers can come and uh, uh, remember this day really. And um, with this episode I just wanted to very briefly to really talk about how much I really appreciate and how surprised I am about this. So essentially the channel started about... Uh, I think when Valheim first came out, I didn't have a mic, so there was no live commentary, and I made a few videos, and I was really enjoying the game as well. And uh, then I moved on to Surviving Mars and Prison Architect and a couple of games like this, and uh, once I, well, once I got the microphone, there was, those were the first ones when there was live, live commentary, and um, I only had about five subs at the time, and I think the videos averaged at about five to twenty views per video. Then summer got a little bit busy. I only did like two or three uploads, and I think it was about when when the Timberborn came into into early access. And after buying the game, playing a couple of cycles, I realized that this is the game I want to do a bit of a playthrough on it. So I did, and uh, the f first two episodes uh, that was already a massive explosion in the in the channel growth for me because uh, I think we went up to about forty subscribers. And from there, it just went nuts. So, for example, in the fa last 48 hours, the channel got about 100,000 views across the board. And that is really crazy. Seven days ago, it was just eight subscribers. And at the time of uh, recording this video, right now we have about 1,793 of you that have subscribed. So thank you. Thank you very much. I really don't know how to thank you all for joining and staying on the channel. I am really grateful. Now, I'm also just filled with joy to read all those lovely comments that you leave on the videos, the feedback, and also some tips that you might have. It, it really is just, just amazing. Uh, ne never really expected to get any of this on my, on my channel, and uh, I've always thought of it uh, that, that it's, it's very tough to break through and, and, and get your videos seen by the community. And I genuinely would have been happy to just have or sit around the 50 to 200 subs uh, that you know casually come by every now and then and, and watch the videos that would have been already like more than enough for me to be honest so once again thank you so much for watching my videos and and uh, let's start this uh, shorter uh, episode now few updates as well uh, first of them being uh, let's go back to the overlay mode here and so the first update is regarding the district names. Uh, I think there have been about 20 submissions already. And they're all all very different and awesome. However, we will do it as soon as I get access. Uh, oh, well, I mean the channel gets access to community posts. Because I just want to post a poll. I don't want to be the only person that decides which name to use. I want you to help me out with that as well. So as soon as uh, we get that, then we'll I'll put up a poll. Or a, or a vote for for everyone to choose which which names should we should we go for the districts. Then the second update is regarding, well, a little bit about the comments and and the beaver names. Now I could I never thought that so many of you would uh, start requesting to be uh, to to join the colony really, and uh, it's it, it's just a lot lot of lot of requests, and uh, I don't think anyone would enjoy watching those videos if. Um, if the first five or ten minutes is just spent on naming all our busy beavers over here. So, um, Green Lamp Goes Red made a very good suggestion. So essentially, the comment with most thumbs up will get a beaver named after them in one of the upcoming videos. So all you gotta do really is leave a lovely comment or perhaps a crazy good building idea that, that we should do. And if others like it, your beaver gets named in the in the in the colony over here after after your name well as long as your name is obviously family friendly 
So, um, so yeah, let, let's do it that way. That is way, way easier and, and better. So thank you very much, uh, Red Lamp Goes Green. And for the ones that have already requested the name, I think there was about, well, there was quite a lot of you. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pick between one, maybe two or three, and um, I'll I'll still give you a uh, name, name a beaver in the colony, but I'll just spread it out uh, between those uh, future future episodes that are coming out as well. So for today, let's pick... Uh, oh, we've got a trout here as well. But that's all right. We're just going to pause a couple of those water pumps over here first. One, two, three, and four. And now uh, I've got a few requests that uh, we'll, we'll just get it done straight away. The first beaver that we're going to name is going to be Groot. And... You are going to be working at the hauling post. The second beaver that we'll name over here is going to be Rupert. Uh, Rupert, I hope you will get well soon, so take care, buddy. And the final beaver that we're going to name is going to be Beaver. Um, yeah, really like that uh, that idea. So here we go. Beaver's joined the colony as well as a uh, as he seems to be working at the at the water pump. All right, let's speed up the time once again. A couple of uh, things we can look at right now. Just a second. Um, we, oh yeah, we just lost some water here. That should be okay. The lake has now, well, it's almost completely filled up over here, which is very fantastic. Now, one thing that I realized after uploading the previous video is that we... We never really come, uh, came back to, to fill, fill up those farms. Now, let's just check our food situation. We've got a lot of bread. Yeah, a lot of bread. So what we should do... Is put some more carrots in here. And let's just patch it up a little bit. Let's just double check how far can this farm reach so about here but we can also get rid of this um the road oh i remember a tip that i um i'm really sorry i don't remember who left it on the on the comments but essentially when you hold down shift whilst highlighting what you want to delete then the pop-up does not come up uh, let's let's try and delete something else because maybe that was a bad example do we have anything here? Yep, let's let's try and delete something in here. We'll delete building and I'm holding down shift. Click and now it doesn't bring up the pop-up. Like, I mean this. Yeah. Perfect. So thank you very much for this suggestion. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I can't remember who, who left that comment. But uh, it's it's such a um, quality of life. Uh, uh, I just don't know how I didn't think to check this before. And a couple more carrots i think we can also get rid of the wheat over there we've got so much bread already yeah that's probably something we're gonna do let's tell them not to plant any more wheat in these locations uh no trees i guess they're fine we're not harvesting or cutting them down anyways and let's put some more carrots maybe we'll do it here actually as well just for the time being really now, let's have a look at the other other parts in our colony too. So over here, actually, let's do it straight away. We will put down a road that goes around this heart over here. Uh, we are going to need some sort of a platform in there. And I think I've just realized that now we can't put down those water pumps here. Uh, yep, so some of those roads will have to... Go. Maybe this one. Let's get a water dump. Did I say pump before? I meant dump. Uh, makes it look a little bit more weird, but maybe we'll do just one more. Change of plans. Let's see if it looks any better. I don't mm, don't really fancy this. So let's let's give it a try by moving those dumps in these locations. Is this any better? And we'll delete these links too. Yeah, I think this looks better than it was before. However, what we need to do 
is get water through here instead. We're going to have to delete this link. And I think we have better access now. Yes, we do. Okay. So these, once they get built as well, will uh, make this look a little bit more green. And in District 2, food is okay. Resource-wise, we're, we're doing all right. Main District, we already checked for food. Water, water is never good. I think our next project, uh, yeah, we'll have to be solving that over here. Now, what can we do? This always gets flooded. Now, let's check. If we put water pumps here... Are you gonna... Oh, these could be temporary ones, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put put a couple down here. When the water level does ra rise, then these will come, come in handy. So let's do two more. Three in total should be should be more than enough. That's the fixes done. We got our farms patched up now. And um, I think for now, as we said, it, it is a short episode. It was really, really just to post an update to thank you all. Uh, so we're, we are going to end the episode here. But do not worry. I am going to record another episode and we'll be focusing on developing up District 3. So stay tuned for uh, for another episode and thank you very much for for coming to celebrate with with us in this one stay safe and see you in the in the next one